Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up the new iPhone 15 and transfer the data over from an older iPhone. Now first press and hold on the side button to switch on the device. Once you see the Apple logo appear, just let go of the button and wait for the phone to boot up. Now have your old iPhone close to the new iPhone, so have them placed nearby. And then on the new iPhone, swipe up on the hello screen and then select your language. I'm going to choose English and then select your country of origin or, or your region. So here I'm going to change. So I should have chose a different region. So I'm going to go back and then scroll down and I'm going to choose a different uh, region. So here I'm selecting United States and the font is now setting the language based on the region that we have selected. And from here, the appearance, you can choose default, medium or large. So I'm going to leave default and tap on the continue button. Now I said looking for nearby devices, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So this is the old iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro. So now you can see here, say unlock to continue. So I tap on the unlock button. And now it is setting up the new iPhone. It's trying to communicate with the new iPhone here. So just wait for that. Now shortly you see there is a blue circle. So you're gonna get this phone and point to the circle like this. And then say, getting things ready. So we're just gonna wait. Then tap on done. And that's it. Now some of the information has been transferred to this device. Another thing that you want to do is make sure the old iPhone has um, full battery. Make sure both devices have full battery before transferring the data. You don't want it to stop uh, halfway. So ideally, uh, make sure both devices are fully charged. Now say continue on your other iPhone and you need to keep both of them close by. Okay, next I'm going to connect to uh, Wi-Fi. So here, put in your Wi-Fi password. The phone will then try to activate. Next, tap on the continue button. Then at this point, you can set up face ID. Uh, you can set up later. I'm going to choose set up later. And then you can put in your screen passcode. Now I see this password can easily guessed. So if you can choose use anyway, or you can change to a different passcode. I'm going to choose use anyway. And we need to re-enter the passcode once more. Okay, next, to transfer the data over from an older iPhone, you want to select from another iPhone. I say looking for nearby devices again. So I'm going to unlock my device and then tap on the continue button. Um, I accidentally closed it. So we're just gonna wait for that pop up to reappear. Okay, on my old iPhone, I'm gonna choose set up for me. And say enter passcode of your other iPhone. Now put in the passcode to proceed. And I'm gonna choose set up face ID later. Transfer data from the iPhone 14 Pro. This is the, the data from this iPhone here. So I'm going to tap on continue. And say so setting up your Apple ID. And now it is signing in. Tap on the agree button. Okay, on the next screen, it says make this your new iPhone. Now tap on continue. Then you can set up. Apple Pay now, or you can do that later. I'm going to choose set up later. If you want to continue to set up your Apple Pay now, you can do so. Now it's an emergency SOS. Now I'm going to tap on continue. And now both phones are starting to connect into one another and transferring the data. So the data on my old iPhone now gone to the new iPhone 15 Pro. Now, because there are not a lot of data on my iPhone 14, so it's a time remaining is about two minutes. 
uh, if you have a lot of photos, videos, a lot of apps on your old iPhone, you may be uh, expecting to be a lot longer than this. It could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour or several hours, uh, depending on the amount of data on your old device it has. So here, we're just going to wait for a minute or two for it to finish. Okay, now you just see, uh, it said transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to your new iPhone or to your other iPhone. And so now on my old iPhone, I can swipe up and close that. And tap on the continue button. Now say so erase this iPhone. I'm going to choose not now. And that's it. So we have successfully uh, transferred the data over on the I new iPhone. Uh, it still hasn't finished though. Uh, I still need to uh, do some setup and configuration behind the scenes. So on this iPhone here, I'm going to swipe up and put in my passcode. And so we store completed apps and data will continue downloading in the background. Tap on the continue button. Then tap on set up later for face ID. We can set up later. I'm going to choose set up later for Apple Pay. In here, it says silent mode. You can toggle silent mode on and off. I'll check its status in control center. Tap on the continue button. And then choose, um, you can customize the action button now or not now. If you tap on the customize button, you'll be able to choose um, which function will be assigned to this action button. By default, it is set to silent mode. So if you press and hold on the button, your phone will go into silent. But you can also reassign another function such as camera, flashlight, magnifier, accessibility, no action at all. So let's say I'm going to choose flashlight and then tap on continued. You can see that if I press and hold, or hold on the side button here, it will turn on the flashlight instead of um, switching on or off the, the silent button. You can see on the old iPhone, there is a switch here on a new newer model. Uh, it is now an action button instead of a silent switch. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.